Okay, good morning, everyone. So in last class, we had discussed about tags and hooks. Okay. So a feature file contains multiple scenarios. So in this feature file, this is one scenario and this is another scenario. So what is the execution flow of this feature file? What is the execution flow of this feature file? First, this step will be executed. And after that, these three steps will be executed for scenario. After that, again, this step will be executed. And again, remaining three steps will be executed. So this is the flow we know. Okay. So prior to background key section, prior to background key section, if you want to execute some snippet of code, so what you have to do, you have to navigate to, you can navigate to, uh, you can create a hooks.java class file. So right click and go and create a Java class file like this, hooks2. And click on finish. So in this Java class file, we have to write at the rate before. Before public void before every scenario. So this is the snippet of code will be executed globally prior to background key section, system.out.println. So this step will be executed. Understood? Similarly, uh, at the rate after. End of scenario. Okay. So prior to background. So this line of code. So this line of code will be executed first. So prior to scenario. So prior to these steps. Okay. So this hook start before step will be executed. And after that background key steps will be executed. And after that like that. So how can we define hooks means hooks is a common snippet of code. It's a common snippet of code. So this is this is common snippet of code will be executed for every scenario. And prior to background key, uh, prior to background key at the rate uh, before section is executing. And uh, after that, this this is got executed. So now let me run my runner class file. Okay. Where is my runner class file? Once run all features dot Java. Okay, let me run this. Run as so this is the method was on not not implemented. Just now I added this step. Okay, let me add this step. So I'm taking copy because in background key section I added this. So in hook steps dot Java class file, let me add this method.
Okay. So if I'm saving this row. Okay. Now if I will do run all features dot Java class file, what is happening? Run as JUnit test. See if you go to scenario. Okay. So background key steps. Prior to this, first this will run before the scenario. So in hooks dot Java class file, in hooks dot Java class file, first step. One second, this will run before the scenario. I think. One second. So already, already this is the scenario, but uh, already I have created. So let's delete hooks one and hooks two because it's referring the first one. So in hooks dot Java class file, this will run before the scenario. So that is the line got executed. And after that, background key steps line got printed. And these three steps got executed. And this will run after the scenario. So this will run after the scenario. So this is the hooks snippet of code is executing before and after for every scenario. And on a feature file loan, I steps and need to execute a section 80 hooks. So at the end before execute out on the and this will run before the scenario. For the second scenario also, hooks part got executed. So this is got executed. And after that, all these set of steps, background key steps got executed, background key steps got printed. Like so we can we can confirm hooks is a common snippet of code will be executed before and after for every scenario. Okay. So prior to background key section, this step will be executed like that. That is what. And in cucumber, there are in hooks, there are three types of hooks. Tools, QA, hooks. Cucumber. So let me check this out. So just now we had discussed about. Test hooks with multiple scenarios. And uh, so we had seen uh, multiple scenarios. When there are multiple scenarios, just now we had seen. So tagged hooks. So this scenario is belongs to which group? At the right first. This scenario is belongs to at the right second. This scenario is belongs to third. So I want to write for a particular group some snippet of code I want to execute globally. So for this first group, I want to execute this one. So this is called tagged hook. So first tagged hook will be executed. After that, global global hook will be executed. Understood everyone? So first this part will be executed. And after that, before scenario, this, this will be executed. The order of execution is tagged hook will be executed first. Okay, this is called tagged hook because this prior to this group at the right first, let's execute this part. After that, this that's it of the concept. Okay. So, like that, the output report got generated. And common tag hooks for multiple scenarios means whenever you want to specify more number of tags, you can specify like this. That's it on the hooks. So that's what we discussed. And uh, today's class, we are going to discuss about phase object model design pattern. Okay, let's go to the program part. So I'm going to take this project copy. Okay, going back to my C drive. Where I have to create the folder. Okay, let me create under a seed HTML report folder. I'm placing the folder here. So 
So for this project, what I am doing is Cucumber POM. I am going to rename it as Cucumber POM. Cucumber POM. So I have to open my pom.xml. Open with Notepad. So group ID, artifact ID, name also I have to change it because the main folder name got changed. So Cucumber POM, artifact ID I am changing because whatever folder name is there with the same name, the pom.xml also it has to be modified. So I'm saving this. Right. So now let me import that Cucumber PYM project here. Okay. File import in C drive existing Maven projects in C drive. HTML report folder contains Cucumber PYM. So let me import this one and click on finish. So this is the Cucumber PYM project got imported. Okay. Let's go to Cucumber PYM. So in SRC test Java, one second, please. I think, guys, one second. I think this is the project I have to take actually. This is the project we did. Okay. So let me take copy of this one. Go to C drive HTML report. So here I am going to create that project. Two more options, please. So data table with headers, we did this one. So for this project, I am going to rename. So my folder name is cucumber underscore pym. Okay, let me create cucumber pym one because I already input cucumber pym one. I'm giving. So in this one, I need to change my pom dot xml also. Let's open with Notepad. Cucumber pym one. That is the folder name. So group ID, artifact ID, and name. Okay, let me save this one. Right, guys. So now let me import this project now. So file, import, existing Maven projects. Click on next. Browse from C drive HTML report. So this is the project I'm imported. Okay, I'm doing. So this is the project got imported just now. So under this one, right now I don't have pages package. Okay, let me create a pages package. So I'm going to create a package name called pages. Okay, so I'm clicking on finish. So under this pages, I want to create a login page. I want to create login page, skills page, and home page. Okay, let me create three pages. So go to new and click on class, login page. Okay, login page dot Java class file got created. Skills page. Skills page got created. And the home page. And home page. So we have created three Java class files. Okay. Right. 
So let's start from login page. So the login page, okay, I'm going to write the first, so first we have to, if you want to write setup driver command, we have to declare web driver object. Okay, let me declare web driver, web driver, driver. I declared my web driver. So we already know public void login. So that is the method we need. So this method we have already developed in my step definition dot Java class file. Okay, let's go to the step definition dot Java class file. Um, I think launch of application URL. Okay. You, so login. So all these methods, user launch Chrome browser. Okay. So one second. So this entire method, okay, I'm taking copy. And I'm going back to my login page here. And I paste it here. And I'm writing public void login method. Okay, so just simply I change the public void login method and data tables and this is the method I have written. Because login page method is available under this one. And let me take open orange HR method as well. Okay, this one. So I'm going back to here. Open orange HR. Open orange HR. So this is the URL. This is the moment. And the next one is user opens Chrome browser. Okay, let me copy this. User open Chrome browser. So right now, only login methods, login page related methods are available under login page dot Java class file. So open user, open Chrome browser, open orange HRM and login. So these three methods are available under login page. So I no need to write. So let's go to the step definition dot Java class file. Okay. So user open Chrome browser. So these are the lines of code is not required here. I'm deleting. And user opens URL. These lines of code also, it's not required. And these lines of code also, one second. These lines of code also, it's not required. Got the point? So all these three methods, the code was not available. So, okay. So the login page contains all only login related methods. Okay. Here I'm writing one more method. Public, this is important. Public void get driver. I'm writing a method name as get driver. This is important. So what is this method I have to explain? Okay. So this is the only extra method I have written. What is this purpose of this method I will take? So let's go to the step definition dot Java class file. So the user launch Chrome browser. So in this method, so now I want to, uh, so what is my Java class file here? Login page. So what I am doing here is login page. So I have declared login page object. Okay. So import. So this, this, this is asking the supporting class is available under. So this is the line got added just now. Where is that? Import pages under pages package. So this is the login page is available. So that is the supporting class referring from this package. This line got automatically added. So now login page is available. So now what I am doing is LP is equal to new login page of by using new keyword i am creating an object lp so login page object i have created an object as lp and after that what i am doing is what is the first method here get driver okay 
or I can write login driver, login page driver. So this is the method I am calling here first. Login page driver and here this is the driver. Create a method login page to driver. One second. Okay. So I have to call object to dot method. Because this login page web driver is available under which one? Under login page. So if you want to access the method of this login page, I have created a login page, non-static methods by using object to dot method name. So I have created an object name as login page LP is equal to new login page and LP dot login page of driver. So this web driver object I'm passing there. And after that, One second. So launching of Chrome browser commands, I'm stay. I'm not changing anything except that one remaining all methods I'm changing. So here, what I'm doing is I have created an object users opens URL L1 login page LP is equal to new login page and login page of driver. So I am so so this is the driver got created in line number 28 and that is the driver I am passing to login page. Okay. So what is the line number 38 meaning? I will explain. Okay. After that LP dot, what is the method name here? Login page contains what is the method name? Open orange which are. What is the point, everyone? So, one second. So, here I have created an object LP is equal to new login page and LP dot login page driver. So, the current web driver object got created in this class. In this class at line number 26, the Chrome browser was launched. And the same driver I am passing to login page, login page. So whenever this line number 38 got executed, what will happen? The control, it will go back to here. And uh, this web, so the driver one is giving control access back to current class driver. So I will take. And after that user launch. Okay, let me go to here. So no need to write everything again. So user launch credentials. So here, where is that method? Login, this one. LP dot login of this is the data table object. So that so that set of driver commands will be invoked. So object dot method name only I'm calling. So whenever these lines of code will be executed, so these lines of code will be executed from the login page. Okay, so like that. Okay, user launch Chrome browser. So that is the first method we should not supposed to change it because the driver instance has to start in the main class. So this is my main class and Chrome browser was started. Okay, it's maximized. And after that, for the login page, I have created an object LP is equal to new login page and LP dot login page driver. So this, this web driver object, I am passing to this login page driver. So whenever line number 38 got executed, so the driver is, so driver one is giving control back access to the current class web driver. So previously web driver is equal to null means by default, this is the meaning web driver driver means driver is equal to null. The driver is not ready. Okay. Driver is not ready to execute set of driver commands. But whenever this method got executed, so the driver one will give the control access back to, to this class so that the driver will be ready. Driver will be ready. Driver will get access, will get control access to execute set of commands, set of commands from login page.
in login fields. Okay, so if you don't call this method, what will happen is so drive. So I'm passing the web driver object to here, and after that only I'm calling this. Method. So like that. Got the point, everyone? Any doubts here? I'm gonna doubt on the upside. Only explain. Ali. User launch Chrome browser. I did not change anything. This line is clear. Okay. So user opens URL. So user opens URL. This method is available under uh, uh, is available under my login page here. Users open URL. So users open URL. So now I want to call open orange HRM method from login page. So first of all, I have to create an object. This is clear. And lp.openRNGHRM, this is clear. If you want to execute commands from the login page, you have to pass this driver object to that class. OK? So you put me running game. So in Olympics, one game. In Olympics, one guy, he will take the stick and he will give it to some other guy. And again, from second guy will pass that stick to third guy. Got the point? Same concept. Okay. So the driver instance got created in this step definition.java class file. And the driver I am passing to login page driver. Okay. So, so login page driver. So previously, my driver is null here, means not ready. Whenever this method got executed, so my driver will be ready to execute commands in the in this Java class. Otherwise, it won't be ready. So I have to pass web driver object. I have to pass web driver object to another Java class file. So this so I'm passing the driver object to after that only I'm able, I'm able to execute the commands from the from those methods in the login page. So I have written uh, open orange HRM. So already I passed to login page driver. So I no need to call again. So I can write it like this, but I no need to call because already web driver object already passed here. So no need to do it again. Okay. So, so like that. So this is the URL value it is going to here. That is the URL and that is the URL value it's got involved. Similarly for data table. So whenever lp.login data table, so object dot method. So user enters credentials. So I want to call the method from LP dot login method. So the data table object I am passing to here. Okay, so I'm calling this one and all these methods got executed. Now I want to call skills as well. Create skills record. Okay, one second. Create skills record. So now I want to go to so now what I am doing is I am copying all these things. So th there is no create skills required. Okay, now let me go back to skills. Public void add skills. So public void add skills I have written and here whatever object is there let's create that one as well in the skill space. Got the point? So public void skills so and I have to declare my web driver as well and I have to declare my web driver as well. So this is the first one and I'm importing. And if I want to pass the driver to this class, I have to write a method public void skill space driver. Okay, and let me clear local web driver, web driver driver one. This comma driver is equal to driver one. So I have written these two methods. Okay, I'm saving. Let me go back to one second.
okay so this is one method and public void add skills is another method okay so right now these are the two methods are available let me go to my step definition dot java class file step definition dot java class file so here first of all if i want to access the skill space uh, if i want to access the method so what i need to do for the skill space i have to create an object okay let me create so first me first let me declare the object here skill space sp okay so the moment it will ask import skill space so this is the line got added from pages skill space got referring okay and sp is equal to i have to create new skill space of okay new skill space of and after that i want to pass my web driver object so sp dot so what is the skill space web driver this is the method i had written and this is the driver method i am passing and after that i want to call a method add skills that's it over okay so the methods are referring from skill space and it's executing okay previously all methods are available here now the methods are referring corresponding page class and corresponding method is executed so to execute this method first you have to pass the driver object after that only you can call this okay is there anything else right so that's it on the ekadundi ardhanga ikkada if you don't specify anything by default it's null means i am not ready so whenever line number 28 got executed what will happen is some value will be assigned like this driver is equal to new chrome driver so that window name is triple one triple two some random number will be assigned and this number is automatically passing to login so triple one triple two so the set of commands has to execute on triple one triple two window so i have to pass this triple one triple two reference to login page web driver so triple one triple two commands so the commands will be executed on triple one triple two session what's the point so uh, that's why i'm passing the web driver object references got the point everyone so if there is if there is uh, so you can pass the driver object only once second time onwards just call the required method okay so let me go to my runner class file here is my runner class file So going back to my skills dot feature file. So this one, okay. So whenever this, so this line of code log into application with below credentials. User launch Chrome browser, user opens URL, and log into below credentials. All these three methods are executing from login phase. and create skills record this method is executing from skills space and so close browser this method will be executed from the home page okay so home page i haven't written so if you want to write public void so same methods we have to write first we need to pass the web driver object public void home page driver and you can write web driver driver one okay and first we have to declare the web driver reference let's declare web driver this comma driver is equal to driver 1 okay and if you want to close browser method you want to write it. public void close browser
So you can write driver dot close. Okay. So if you go to step definitions dot Java class file, click on close browser. So here you want to write driver dot close command is available under which one home page now. So let's create an object for home page. Home page h1. So first create create the object reference globally. Home page h1. Okay. And it's uh, importing. It's got imported here. Okay. And h1 is equal to where is that? Close browser. Here only I have read. Right. H1 is equal to new home page. So I have created object. And after that, I have to pass the web driver object. Because before in so home page web driver. So this I'm passing the driver. After that, only I can I can call the required methods. Okay. So like that. So if I am doing like this, so browser will be closed. If I don't want, just keep that because I want to see the results. Okay. Let's go and run the feature file. Kumbar runner test. Run NAS test ng test. What happened? Okay. So this time three iterations will be executed within the same session. And login page methods got executed, reference and skills page methods are executed. So all the three iterations got completed successfully. C 500, 510, 520 records got created. So simple thing is in your step definition dot Java class file, you are not writing. Okay, one second. You are not writing set of driver commands in any of the methods. So except launching of Chrome browser, in remaining all methods, just you have to create the object and you are calling the method. Before calling the method, you have to pass the web driver object. So this is the first step. And coming back to login, because already we passed the web driver object. No need to pass. If you want, you can do. No issue. Okay. If it is not passed, you can pass it. Before invoking the method, so I'm passing the login method. So this is the data table object holds all the input values. And it is coming here and uh, the same method implementation was here. Okay. So like this. So in my step definition dot Java class file, you should not suppose to write any of the set of driver commands. The methods will be required from the corresponding page class file and methods will be executed from the corresponding Java class file. Okay. So what is a page object model design pattern means? Simply you have to create Okay, corresponding login pages and let's declare web driver object reference and uh, pass the web driver object reference and uh, keep all the methods in the uh, move all the lines of code into uh, login page related methods. And just if you want to access in the step definition dot Java class file, just you are creating an object. You are creating an object and after that you are passing the driver and we are calling the required methods as per the test case functional flow. Okay. No? So this is called page object model design pattern. So I explained about skill space, right? Cucumber PY means this is the skill space. You can do exercise for jobs. Okay. So tomorrow, anyway, tomorrow class, I will cover Cucumber PYM on jobs. Okay. So, uh, so today I'm having some other works, important works. So I'm winding the session for today. So you can do, so tomorrow's class, we can do exercises Cucumber PYM only on jobs and nationalities. These two examples we will finish. Before the uh, so better to complete by today itself. You can do exercise. Okay. So I am going to share this project. Number PYM.
So this is the importance in real time. People are using cucumber pea oil. Okay. So you are not writing set of driver commands in the step definition dot Java class. Well. That is the main point you have to remember. Except launching of Chrome Web. So I had uploaded Cucumber PBOM one project. You can extract it and you can do the practice on jobs and national. Okay. Anyway, tomorrow's class also I will continue on Cucumber PBOM one. Okay. So that's it for today's class. So once tomorrow's completely, once we complete Cucumber part by tomorrow. Okay. And uh, what is the day for tomorrow? That's there, right? Okay, tomorrow. Okay, seventh and eighth completely we can do uh, cucumber labs in the class itself. Okay, while doing, you can also get ready with your laptops. So we can finish labs practice uh, on seventh and eighth classes. So after eighth, there is no cucumber topic at all. Okay, so tomorrow get ready with your laptops. So I, I will do the exercises for scenario, scenario outline, and data table with header and P1. So next to two days, we can do labs only. Okay. So today you can do Cucumber PYM example and jobs and national things. That's it guys for today's class.